Russia's repeated aerial assaults on civilian infrastructure in Ukraine aren't slowing down in the new year. They're ramping up, killing dozens of innocents and injuring hundreds more. The White House now says Russia is using short-range ballistic missiles from North Korea while also trying to get more from Iran, a growing concern for U.S. officials. These North Korean ballistic missiles are capable of ranges of approximately 900 kilometers. That's about 550 miles. This is a significant and concerning escalation in the DPRK's support for Russia. Both Moscow and Pyongyang deny the arms deal, but Kirby presented new intelligence suggesting otherwise. A map illustrating the alleged trajectory of a North Korean missile first launched into Ukraine's fiercely contested Zaporizhia region on Saturday. The first attack struck an open field, while the second was part of a larger offensive. Now, in return for its support, we assess that Pyongyang is seeking military assistance from Russia, including fighter aircraft, surface-to-air missiles, armored vehicles, ballistic missile production equipment or materials, and other advanced technologies. These findings present several challenges for Ukraine and its Western allies. The U.S. is currently deadlocked on a funding package for Ukraine, while Russia is actively strengthening its own supplies. Additionally, it suggests Russia is not only furthering North Korea's missile program, but also actively procuring missiles from Iran. Russia is also working with Iran to manufacture Iranian-designed Shahid drones on Russian soil. At this time, we do not believe that Iran has delivered close-range ballistic missiles to Russia. However, the United States is concerned that Russian negotiations to acquire close-range ballistic missiles from Iran are actively advancing. Despite ongoing international pressure and sanctions, Putin is continuing to bolster Russia's defense industry capacity. In response, Washington and its allies will bring up the issue at the United Nations Security Council.